cleaning your oil, your oil lamps, your fluid lamps, um, this one has a little bit of fluid left in it um, with, the, with the wick full of oil. One thing to consider when you're working with this stuff is to make sure you have cleaning materials around for your hands also. But, um, and when buying an oil lamp and transform, transferring it to your, bringing it home, sometimes they'll sell them like this, but you never know when you buy them whether they're cloudy underneath or um, in good condition. So I would recommend buying an oil lamp that doesn't, is not filled with the fluid because um, you never know how they're going to clean up. Um, the other, the other um, advice I can give you on cleaning your whale oil or your oil fluid lamp would be to empty this in a hazardous waste because it is fuel oil um, in a container that is um, acceptable for whatever town you live in. And if you have some small bristle brushes to go in with warm soap and water and a bristle brush to get inside, and you may have to turn them up and leave them overnight or a day or two to um, make sure that all the fluid is um, gone before you all the moisture is gone before you add the fluid. So that's why I would recommend cleaning these um, so that you have a nice clean um, display of your fuel oil lamp.